Intermediate Financial Accounting 2, Shareholders Equity. Topic 1, the Corporate Form of Organizations. Corporations can either be formed provincially or federally. They can be private or public. Private means they're not publicly traded. Uh, there's a, typically a limited number of shareholders and they can use ASPE. Public in Canada means that their debt or equity publicly traded on an exchange and they must use IFRS. Here, we are focusing on corporations formed federally under the Canadian Business Corporations Act, CBCA. Only corporations have shareholders and therefore only corporations have shareholders equity. Within shareholders equity is share capital. This share capital can either be common shares or preferred shares. In common shares, shareholders can vote and have the residual right to interest if the company fails. They are not entitled to a dividend, but may receive one. Each class must state whether it is voting, dividend paying, or if it receives uh, rights to assets. All classes of common shares in combination must cover these three, voting, dividend paying, and right to assets. Preferred shares have common characteristics, including they are typically non-voting, although they can be. They typically will state the dividends, and if so, dividends are paid at a given rate with priority payment over common dividends. Those preferred shares may have stated cumulative dividends, where shareholders are entitled to receive any dividends unpaid from prior years in addition to current year dividends. Preferred shares do receive priority upon liquidation. If the company dissolves, shareholders will receive available assets uh, to satisfy their shares prior to common shareholders. More about preferred shares. Other potential characteristics for preferred shares include conversion, which is the right to convert a share at a predetermined ratio into other types of shares. Guaranteed return. Companies may guarantee a certain percentage of return on preferred shares using mechanisms such as repurchasing the shares at a stated price in the future. Preferred shares can often look a lot like debt. Uh, so linking back to when we discussed substance over form, we will discuss more about this in a later chapter. These special characteristics for preferred shares can have an, almost any combination of the terms we just discussed. For example, a class of uh, preferred shares may be cumulative and have a conversion feature. So lots to keep in mind. Let's look at one more thing before a question, the lingo. We might ha discuss authorized share capital is the maximum amount of shares that a company is allowed to issue. This is stated per the Articles of Cor Incorporation. Treasury shares, these are held by the company for resale. These are shares that have been issued but are not considered to be outstanding shares with a shareholder. Subscribed shares. Someone has bought the shares on credit, but hasn't paid for it in full yet. These are only issued when the purchase price has been paid in full. Which of the following is not a typical characteristic of preferred shares? A, non-voting. B, Cumulative dividends. C, residual interest upon dissolu dissolution. D, stated dividends. If you answered C, that is correct. The residual interest upon dis dis dissolution um, is for, is a common, or is uh, typically a characteristic, uh, and it must be a characteristic of at least one of the classes of common shares. So typically, 
preferred shares have priority interest upon liquidation, and then the common shares have a residual interest, meaning the common shareholders are the last in priority to receive anything of the company which may be left or which may not be left. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.